This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this 2021 Kia Sportage LX. It's a 2.4 liter front wheel drive LX. Has very low miles, 5,487 actual miles. It was a theft recovery purchase directly from Farmers Insurance in Sun Valley, California, uh, which is very near, uh, San, uh, near uh, LA. And it is on a salvage title due to theft. Yes, it looks almost brand new. The only thing it's got going on, it's got a little too close to a bush or something here. That might buff out with a little bit better detail than we got. Um, that's it. Um, it's a brand new car, really. Um, anyway, they put them on a salvage title because uh, the big insurance companies don't want to be sued by whoever we sell it to. If they give it a salvage title, they're divorced. They probably already paid thirty-five or so thousand dollars to the victim of this theft, and uh, they don't want to. Uh, be sued by somebody. Um, obviously, Farmers has a lot more money than Crosscut. Um, so a lawyer might come after their money instead of our money, um, which would be a lot more. So that's why they do it. Um, it's about attorneys. Anyway, this vehicle, when it got here, we already knew that it needed a new ignition and a door cylinder. The thieves broke it, both of them. So that was done at CNS Lock. Um, it also needed all the cats, both cats. The upper cat, which is also includes, a, it's a manifold and catalytic converter combined. That's the upper cat with the upstream O2 sensor. It also needed the lower cat um, and the downstream O2 sensor. So basically all of the uh, catalytic converter system had to be replaced. It's brand new. Um, you'll have invoices that you can click on to see that. Uh, the parts that we bought, we spent about 1500 on the catalytic converter parts and another about uh, $400 to install them and then we spent about $130 at CNS lock getting the keys made and then we sent it to detail okay anyway my job in this video is to tell you what's wrong really all I can find is this little rub which gosh if you just put touch-up paint on it go away I see another little rub right here a little black touch-up paint there and it'd be gone and you'd be done uh, doesn't need tires doesn't need anything this car needs nothing Okay. Um, anyway, in this uh, video, I will uh, go through everything. I will open up the hood. We'll start it. We'll go through the whole bit. We'll go on a ride. I'll tell you how we get a salvage title to a restored salvage title. And once we do that with an inspection uh, by the cops, we can get you what's called a restored salvage title and you can get insurance and plates and the whole bit. Okay. It's very easy. All right. So let me start this thing first. What are we at now? We're at 5,512 miles now. Drove, and, drove, drove it a few times down the interstate and stuff. So we've added maybe, I don't know, 20 miles or so. All right, it's got a hood prop, so I'm gonna one hand this. There's your stickers where they belong. There's your bin where it belongs. Everything is what you would expect in a 5,000 mile car. Not much going on here. But, uh, like I said, it's my job to make sure that you know what you're buying, so I do that. All right, before we continue, I'll go through some stuff. All this will have links in the uh, in our uh, ad. You can click on, this is our invoice from CNS Lock for the uh, ignition and door cylinder. This is the uh, Leon's exhaust. This is, we had to buy the rear cat from him. And then he did the install of the manifold and heat shield and the whole bit. That was uh, 396. This is the expensive one from Tasca Parts. These are factory parts, by the way. Factory cat, uh, shield, and an O2 sensor. Had to buy another O2 sensor after the fact because we found out later that they were both bad. They were both cut. Anyway, here's the auto check. There's the, the VIN. So, nothing going on there good news here there's no accident no damage reported uh, la, 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 nothing there here's the insurance loss record that's due to if you come all the way down here theft okay no odometer rollbacks or anything like that let's see it was put into action 3 4 of 21 in California stolen 12 2 of 21 reported stolen Vehicle reported as total loss, vehicle loss caused by theft. So when people say total, that doesn't mean a wreck. It means 
they somebody lost a lot of money, namely the insurance company. All right, it was recovered 12, 12, so it was gone for 10 days. And probably because they broke the ignition, they let it go on a salvage title, which is kind of pathetic, but. Uh, anyway, here's the Mannheim Market Report. This is what dealers pay for these vehicles at auction. There's the VIN, the actual VIN for this car. You put in 5,500 miles, you end up with an adjusted uh, price of uh, 28.3. That's what a dealer would pay for this vehicle at an auction. There's a couple exact, uh, what, 5,900 miles, 29.2, 7,700 miles, 27.8, okay? Obviously, you're not paying anywhere near that number, but giving you an idea of your, the value here. Here's Car Gurus. Uh, 26,888 is a good deal with uh, 6,500 miles, okay? Here's another one, 26,999 in Tulsa with 4,900 miles. Like I said, all this stuff will be in the ad, okay? So you'll be able to see all of it. Uh, just click on it. Let me see if I, ah, I know I've got a title in here somewhere. There it is. Here's the actual title. This is the California title they signed over to us there's the VIN farmers insurance actual miles okay let's see signed over to there's the mileage by the way 5487 wheel kinetics DBA crosscut okay all right let me put this stuff down I'm gonna walk around over here there's your window up and down okay Seats, uh, obviously the interior is going to look brand new because it is. There's your manuals and everything. Let's see if there's... Well, you got all your USB ports and everything down here. You got some AC um, vents there. Um, it's kind of boring because there's really not much going on here. There's a little chip here and a chip here. Boom, boom, boom. I like boring. Boring is good. Boring means nothing's bad. There's your window. And doing it inside makes it a lot better. I'm a lot more cheerful. It's 103 or 4 today it's supposed to be 108 in a couple days here so we got about a month and a half of that and then the monsoons where it's really humid and then we'll be okay here's your mirrors out in up and down other side out in up and down let's see what else we got going on here you got window locks ba -ba -ba. mats are there everything's there all right let me uh open up the uh, door here all right there's that and we're going to ride right. built on so obviously you add your device you can get um, you know your maps up and the whole bit it's kind of the way things go now let's see there's the display stuff driver assist so you've got the lane departure stuff here see that right there um, there's also an, a collision avoidance lane keep let me go here let's see driver assist okay so you got lane safety forward collision um, all kinds of settings for that to increase sensitivity stuff like that so pretty cool car all right let me get it going here oh there's also a hill descent button see what it says downhill brake control on that's this button here and then you can put it drive mode eco sport normal okay I'm gonna go I'm gonna go sport all right let's see what else we got here quick guide radio let's see scan so this will change the station right I'm doing that over here you got the mode there's your mode changing so that's all that's I haven't set any presets so there you go all right let's get out of here
Boy, is it a freaking hot day today, man. You can freaking feel it today. This is the first day of the year where you're going, hmm, it's hot. All right, so let's begin the speech on how we do this. If you uh, come to Tucson to drive at home, obviously you need plates and insurance. You can't do either on a salvage title. We have to take the title and the vehicle down to the police on Broadmont and Palo Verde here. Gun carrying police, real cops. They do a level three inspection. On theft recoveries, especially from us, they know it's 100% legit. Uh, and they, you know, check them out. It takes about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. But we have to wait there for our appointment for about three hours, <laughs> which really sucks. Sometimes more, so we just sit there. So anyway, it's $200 to restore the title. Um, then there's a uh, $250 dog fee and there's taxes. Taxes are whatever your state tax rate is plus our city tax of 2.7. So if you come here to drive this home, you will pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.7%, a $250 dog fee, and 200 to restore the title. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're obligated to pay is agreed upon price and that's it. No tax, no dock fee, nothing. Let us know at the time you buy it if you want us to restore the title. If you do, that will add um, uh, $200, okay? By the way, I'm kind of like, you know, kind of moving around in the lane and I can feel the steering wheel straighten me out because it's got the lane departure. <laughs> that's kind of trippy. Uh, I guess we're all getting used to that now. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. What else? Um, if you need help with shipping, let us know early in the transaction. I can do it for you. We can re roll the price of the shipping into the uh, price of the vehicle. Um, so you make one payment. Um, if you want to do the shipping yourself, you're welcome to. If you need some phone numbers, we'll give them to you and you can do it yourself. Whatever you want. We just want to make sure you have your car. This car smells brand new and drives like brand new. It's a new car except instead of being 31,000 at your dealership, uh, plus tax and license out the door for 34, you're gonna be a lot less than that. That's the difference, okay? So, um, what else? La, 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 la. So let me know if you need help. Deposit's $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until we have a deposit, it will stay for sale, okay? Um, so make sure you get your deposit in. If you, need, uh, if you need any help uh, with shipping, please make sure you tell us. Because right now, shippers are kind of acting strange at $5.70 a gallon for diesel. <laughs> All right? Um, but uh, I kind of know how they are, and I know how to deal with them. And this is a small car, so it won't be as expensive as, as a you know, huge SUV or whatever. This, these things are pretty cheap to ship still, um, which is something that will help you a little bit. Um, last part of every video, I say the same thing, and I have for almost 20 years now. Um, we don't have salesmen, so there's no commissions to pay the salesmen, so we don't have to make money for them. Um, we don't have a fancy location. You saw what I just drove out of. Um, that's uh, in a very industrial area, about a mile from the beautiful auto mall here in Tucson. And my uncle owns it, and he charges a dollar a year for it. So you're not paying for our location like you are there with their you know great pavement and their fancy location. You're not paying for an attendant to serve you a scone and a latte and have a game room for the kids while your car's in service. You're not paying for that either, all right? Um, all those things save you money along with the title on this vehicle. And since you don't drive a title, you drive the car, the car is exactly the same as a clean title, clear title, uh, Kia Sportage. It's the same car, exactly the same car. There's nothing wrong with it, all right? The title is it, and that's gonna save you many thousands of dollars, okay? Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. What else? I think I'll stay in this frontage road. I-10 looks like I don't wanna get stuck on I-10. So this is the frontage road. That's I-10 right there going towards Phoenix. I think I just have a feeling I'm gonna end up stopped there and I don't feel like stopping on I-10 today. Um, anyway, uh, the other thing that they know at the auto mall, when they sell you this vehicle, uh, if something breaks, you're gonna bring it back and say, fix my vehicle. I just paid you guys, you know, a bazillion dollars for it. And they'll say, fine, because part of the deal when you buy a vehicle at the auto mall, used or new, is they build about $500 to $700 in for, for every vehicle for future repairs. That's what they do, okay? Um, we don't do that, all right? 
Uh, we save you, all your money is saved up front so that you can be the owner and fix your car when it breaks. Every single car on this road, on this planet will break. It's a matter of when. Now, this is a 5,000 mile car with a great reputation. Um, it's not gonna break. But if it does, you're going to fix it, okay? Uh, just keeping it real here, we wanna make sure that people understand how we work, okay? We can't fix vehicles after we sell them because we already gave you the savings up front, all right? So, instead of paying, you know, $35,000 out the door at uh, your local Kia dealer for a two, for a what, one and a half year old Kia Sportage, you're gonna pay a lot less, you know, 30% less, maybe more, depends on what my brother prices it at. Um, we price them fair because we can't hold on to them forever. Um, we're not a storage business. Look at, I didn't put on the, uh, the uh, turn signal to change lanes and it got mad. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it again, watch. Watch this, let's see, all right, here we go. Yep, got mad. <laughs> that stuff works, man, that's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, la 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 la. Uh, but, but I got 17 minutes and 38 seconds is how long these videos can be. And I'm on the way over here to motor vehicles. I have to do some title work. So I figured I'd just uh, take it on a longer than usual drive. There's not a whole lot to explain on this vehicle uh, as far as any problems it has because there aren't any aside from a little scuff on the bumper. Um, so we got to drive a little bit longer than I usually get to drive in these videos. Fortunately, we're stopped at this light, but there you go. Well, it's a beautiful car. Such a nice car that uh, I might drive it home for the weekend. It's the correct color. Not that there's anything wrong with black, but in Tucson, <laughs> when it's when it's a hundred and something degrees, white cars are the king. And right now, I don't feel like baking. My daughter drives a 17 Acura MDX black with black leather. Oh my God, I hate that car. It's a beautiful car, but I don't want to even get near it. it just looks hot anyway we're uh, just about out of time I got to turn left here at this light 17 minutes and 30 something seconds here beautiful car thank you for your time guys have a great weekend